Flavor Squad, it's your girl Fashionisha here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my video. Today we're going to be making these pants. Today we're going to be making these pants in honor of Black Lives Matter, so let's get right into it. These are the materials that you will need. So first we're going to start by laying our fabric out hot dog style. I know y'all learned that in school. I'm going to lay it out the long way. And we're going to lay our favorite pants onto the fabric. I use the folded side and then I use the um, unfolded side for the next half. So it really doesn't matter which side you use. You just want to lay it long ways. going to take my marker and just simply trace around the pant. I kind of made mine wider because I didn't want them as tight as these pants were. So it's all up to you. If you want your pants flare tight, you just have to trace it out the way that you want. Once you're done tracing, this is what it should look like. I'm now going to go in and simply cut out this pattern on the um, lines that I marked. Also, don't forget when you're tracing to leave yourself seam allowance. Now I'm just going to pin these two pieces together so they don't move around. We're then going to use the pattern we just cut out and use that as our pattern for the next two pieces. You just simply want to lay it on top of your fabric and cut around. Now that we're done cutting our patterns out, you should have four separate pieces, two for the front and two for the back. We're now going to go in and pin the crotch area together. And you don't want to pin the sides or the midsection. You just want to pin up the butt part and up the front part, if that makes sense. I'm going to show you guys here in, in a second. So you want to do this to both of your pattern pieces that we cut out and we're going to sew straight down 
that midsection. Always remember to use your zigzag stitch when using when sewing your stretch fabric and this is what your pattern should look like once you're finished. The next step is to simply place the patterns on top of each other front face together so you want the front of your both patterns to touch each other and you want the inside out if that sounds confusing i'm about to do it so no worries You want to be sure your patterns are as flat as possible and together as straight as possible because if one part is wonky or messed up, you'll definitely see it once you start sewing or once you're done sewing. Now we're going to pin the pants down the legs on both sides and in the middle. Once you're done pinning your pants, this is what you should have. And we're just gonna sew along the pin area with a zigzag stitch. And make sure to always begin and end with a back stitch. Once you're done sewing both areas, this is what you should have. Your pants are now 75% complete and we just have to add the elastic. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold the top, fold the bottom ankle area and we're gonna create a little cuff for our elastic to go into 
So when you're sewing, you don't want to sew all the way around. You want to leave a little space so you can insert your elastic. I'll show you that in a second. Now that I'm done pinning, I'm going to sew all the way around, but I'm going to leave about an inch or two of space to insert my elastic. And I'm going to do the same for my waistband. My waistband was much wider than the ankle elastics. I think the waistband was two inch elastic and the ankle bands were one inch elastic. Once again, I'm going to sew all the way around and leave that little area to insert my elastic. Now, when sewing, you want to make sure you're sewing straight so you don't mess up the space that you created for your elastic band. And remember to leave your open pocket for the elastic. Now you can measure your elastic around your ankle and around your waist. I did that off camera. And you just wanna insert that into the ankle area and pin it together once you're done. And when it's all pinned together and you have it all the way through, we're gonna sew just a straight stitch across your elastic. Right there, you'll put those two end pieces together and when you're finished, you'll just sew right across there. You'll do the same for the other ankle and your waistband as well. Once you're all done, this is what your pants should look like. But y'all know we gotta add that flavor and the flavor of the week is Black Lives Matter because Black Lives Matter and that's on period. So let's get right into the flavor. Here I'm adding names of victims. I don't even wanna talk about it. Like y'all know what's up. It's just gonna make me sad if I talk about it, but y'all know what's up. This is just my way of honoring them. There are so many more names, so many more. I'm not oblivious to that, but yeah, these are just the names I use, but there are so many more. I just want to encourage you guys to keep fighting, keep hope alive. We we gonna get through this, and that's on period. So when you're done, this is what the pants look like. I really love these and I cannot wait for it to get cold so I can rock these. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe. May your curls pop and your grind never stop. I'm out of here, Flavor Squad.